Hello and welcome back to more Graveyard Keeper. We are starting the day off by doing a little bit of light organ harvesting. We need to put away some of these pieces, first of all. Because we do not necessarily need them right as this moment. We'll put the berries and the honey away as well. And maybe the oil. No, we'll hold on to the oil. We may need that down down in the, uh, the church. So the first thing we're going to do, play with the body, try and get the soul out and see what we can learn with that. Because why not? So we're going to take the skull. Because the skull adds one red. See? And then we're going to... We've been pretty lucky with the brain, so let's go for the brain again. We mangled it too. Okay. Um, let's take the body then. This is prime barbecue meat. <laughs> So we're gonna put this in. Extract the soul. Right, we have a harmed soul. Put the harmed soul in there. And it requires two good things. I don't fully know. So we're gonna take this body. And we're going to Try and take the meat out of it now. What do I else what else do I have space for? Let's take the intestines as well. And the heart. We are butchering this body. Right, we're gonna quickly grab the skin and the fat as well. Now the other unfortunate thing is is we are running out of time for the prayer. So after quickly extracting all the organs we can, we are going to duck up quickly and do this prayer. Time is getting away from us while we uh, work down here. So let's pop on up and do a quick little cheeky prayer, probably still covered in the gross bits of the other one. By the other one, I mean that corpse. I hope he says something other than the church is great later on. Nice. So we get the four. Ooh, that was a low one. We only got, oh, we got seven. Okay, I must have missed one. And then we actually get quite a fair bit of money now. So we're getting fewer people come, but they are dropping off more money, a lot more money. So we're taking that silver as well, and we're calling it a win. Right, back to the matter at hand. We are going to check on the body. That, oh no, not the body, the soul. The body there is... He's shuffled off his mortal coil. Um, so we're going to look here. We are healing the soul with a bit of flesh. We have a sin shard. Um, I'm just going to destroy the ceramic bowls so I can pick up the soul. We have a healed soul. So... There we go. He has been shuffled off this mortal coil and we gained um, six of those. Unfortunately, we don't yet currently have enough gratitude, but we're learning, we're learning. Uh, your berry pie is not ready, sir, but I have learned new things and that is very important. So I'm going to take the blood as well. And then I'm going to take the body. 
I don't think we need the bone for anything, and I'd rather not be stuck with so many bodies and bones. Right. Getting that burning, we need to go get some more bullets for that. And we're going to head back up. We now have the faith to do a... To make another zombie as well. And we have a lot of carrot cutlets, which is also very important. <laughs> right. Um, there is nothing that actually lives here. We're going to duck into the basement, store some body parts like a totally not a serial killer. And some over here as well. There we go. Not a serial killer. Just a, just a regular run-of-the-mill, salt-of-the-earth man who likes playing with dead bodies. Now, do we have the zombie juice on us? We do. Okay, good. We are going to get the other faith. Did we store it down here? I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have stored it here. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I've stored it just across over here. But we're going to make a zombie and put them in the mine. And see what comes from that. There we go. There is our faith. So we're up to 16. Next prayer will equal another zombie body as well, which is good news to us. What's strange is no one is using that anymore. Maybe I'm not checking it enough. Um, let's look at who we can dig up. So that is six. No, that is five. Four. Four. Five. Five. Three. That is six. Here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. We dig up this body. That gets us the stone cross and the stone grave fence. We can put it on that one. Get the full six. And then use the five star body. I think that's what we're going to do. So we are eating carrots at midnight as we dig up corpses. <laughs> there we go. Got permission to do that. Up comes this corpse. Then we can remove it, I believe. And we can fill in the grave here. So with that done, we can go along here. And I just want to check something. Fix the fence. <gasps> we can fix the fence. Oh my gosh. Yes. Okay. We are going to start doing some of this. This sounds absolutely awesome to work on. Um, in that case, stone, plank, and nails. Right. Okay. So I just want to quickly check whether we've done any autopsy work on this. We have not. No, we have. We're going to take the sin shot. There is no blood and no fat. Yeah, so we have done work on this. Okay. Resurrect. And we have a zombie. Can we teleport to the quarry with a zombie? We can. Awesome work. Not sure what happens now. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Just gonna... They're probably going to be there for a little bit. I don't think we can even build. Yeah. Okay. He's working on something. Okay. Time to go to the refugee camp. It's going to leave this here. I don't know why I came here. 
Everything's looking okay. We're going to put... No, we're not going to put more. I want to take 24. I want to take a whole stack. There we go. We are at two happiness. So we have enough happiness to build the fence. We just need the fitch and the... The fitch and the like. We can get some more wild honey on our way down. I'm not sure if... Wi uh, not wild. The normal beehives will sting us. So we'll actually check that on the way as well. Here we go. Ooh, we even got some uh, some beeswax from that one. Right, you are stuck, old buddy. That's okay. Gonna take you because, quite simply, we don't have anything else to do with you. Um, you're just gonna come down here for a few minutes. Can I put you on this? No. Okay. I want to see what your stats are and whether we can fix you. I don't know whether you can adjust zombie corpses. Ooh, another B. And then, uh, let's see if we take that 15 damage. No damage. And we also got two Bs. Two Bs for the price of one. So we can only build beehives and we're at 7 out of 10 and I'm pretty sure... We might have some more bees sitting around somewhere else. So we might get our second... Second, um... The thingamabob. Beehive. Okay, what can we store here? Actually, we can take that from here. Uh, there's nothing to really store here at the moment. We are more traveling down and around. There's, there's a lot of little fiddly work when it comes to doing this. I know a lot of the, the teleportation stone has, oh my gosh, probably shortened. Well, not shortened. Yep. <laughs> probably shortened, actually, now that I think about it. The amount of episodes that we'll be doing. Right, this is an incredibly messed up body, but we can fix it. Because red skulls don't matter on a zombie. But what we can do is we can remove the blood and the fat, and now it's at six. So it's actually a more efficient zombie. Where do I want to put it, though? That is the big question. Let's go to the quarry. Let's have a look up here. Oh, we got another corpse too. So you are halfway through creating one. Okay. I can also put one here. Can I? No, you are not a porter. Okay. I was mistaken about that. I can't put you to work there. Or here. Or there. But I can put you to work up here and we'll have you up here for now. Now to go take care of the next dead body that's been dumped. It seems to me like our donkey friend has been working extremely busy. Extremely hard, I should say. Right. Uh, we can make this a five star... Five skull. One. Pretty easy. And we're just going to leave it at that now. Because I... I mean, we can't even make... Uh, grave sites that, that good yet. So we're going to take that harmed soul. 
place it in here. Alright, it's at 40%. That's not bad. I have no clue how that works. But it appears we are healing them and sending them on. So we should get seven. So do we now have seven that we can research this with? We do. Remote craft control. So we can go bang. Unlock. Hmm, interesting knowledge. I should ask Smiler to tell me about this remote control technology. We also now have all of this. So, pray for soul's repose. That means more happiness, more faith. Oh, okay. Um, content. Increases amount of gratitude points received by 10%. Nice. And then we have pray for souls through cleansing. Increases the number of sh shards of sins received in successful treatment. So I imagine the shards must be something for something good. Uh, we now have the stove, stove, stone grave fence six. We don't even have. Like, where are the others? <laughs> We probably can't even make this yet, but I am absolutely unlocking it. I mean, that alone adds six. And then you get some marble where it adds 11. Jeez. Adds 12, adds 12, adds 15. So you can go 26 just from those. There is lots to learn. Let's go talk to Smiler here. Smiler, is there anything you know? Oh, sorry, you know a lot of things. Is there anything you can tell me about remote technology? I remember the keeper used to maintain a quite quite a tight schedule. The remarkable device is featured in the special insert in the keeper's book. Do you have the book? Yurik has it. I guess I could go find him. Good luck then. Listen, the thing is. Smiler said that your book has an insert on it. And you want it for nothing? Well, not for nothing, but... Yeah, you're right about that. Perhaps you could assist me with a small problem? It would go a long way towards you receiving this insert. Alright, buddy. Assuming you... I agree. Do you know how I can cure people? All these mechanisms were created only for healing souls. What people does he want to cure? I already told you. The book, the part of the book that I'm talking about the experiment on curing people was torn out. Probably for a reason. So ask your friend Smiler about it. Perform the first healing session. What? Did I miss something in that? It turns out Yurik doesn't know how to cure people. Maybe you know something about it? Not that much. The Keeper preferred to keep him this knowledge to himself. I can't help you. But it's not all bad news. I know that you need to build a special interface where you can place a person. Human soul healing. Thank you. What would we do without you? You're welcome. Okay. Can I then talk to him? Nope. We now have the technology human soul healing. I don't know where it is. I don't know what to do with it. But we'll find out next episode. Yeah, I think we just build it. Okay. That's it's not much of a uh, <laughs> suspenseful ending. But yes, it is an ending nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like down below. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell if you'd like to receive updates whenever a new video goes out. They currently go out five days a week, all weekdays. And I'm also live on Twitch three days a week. The link is below in the description. Have a lovely rest of your day. I hope to see you again next time. 
Bye for now.